Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for November 4th through November 11th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This reading is for somebody, but it might not be for you, all right? It all depends. We'll see who this reading is for. Some people will deny it, even if it is for them. That's okay. It's fine with me. Um, but this is for Pisces. We're going to focus on love. At least that's what I focus on. We'll see what comes up. Nine of Cups. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. But there's some sort of uh, holding on to some stubbornness. Stubbornly holding on. And this is a card of ego as well. I, I didn't want to say it, but, you know, I got to now. So you got to step outside of your ego to find your wish fulfillment. This is stubbornly holding on to some sort of grudge, perhaps. I don't know. This is holding on to something that you're, you just can't let go of something. It needs to be let go. Why? He don't look happy holding on to whatever he's holding on to. Can't let it go. He can't let something go. She might find wish fulfillment. Ah, fear of commitment. Oh my God. This is a sign of Taurus. But this is refusing to listen. It is. I mean, this is about listening to your inner guide. I refuse to listen. I'm holding on to my stance. I'm not taking any action. <laughs> That's funny. This is destiny. This is the wheel of fate and destiny. Changing the course changing the path the power is in your hands Pisces you have the power you have all the tools necessary except for one thing faith there's lack of faith ooh uh uh two of swords reversed It's like, you see the truth right next to this one. Oh my God. And in some decks, this is labeled truth or trust. It's like, I see the truth, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to speak the truth, but this is about speaking the truth. It's time for the truth to come out. But you may be overwhelmed with your fears about this truth. This is overwhelmed with fears. I think right now you are emotionally guarded, and that's why you're not taking action. Mm. You need to make that firm decision. This is about being objective, seeing things from new perspectives, and making a solid, firm decision. Make the decision instead of being so wishy-washy, going back and forth. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We have Gemini here as well. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we have Taurus. But there's an opportunity for love here, Pisces. You have the resources to take action because the Magician card, it's if you were to look it up, it says he finds the resources, the courage, the strength, the emotional, whatever he needs. He uses everything to take action. It's a card of action to bring success to a relationship, to love, to find love. You have to take action. And that's about making some sort of decision. But there's fear of commitment up there. And so holding on to a stance. But there's a destined change, of course, that could lead to wish fulfillment in love. But you're going to have to take a risk. You're going to have to take a risk, Pisces. And this card, 
is a card of faith. There's lack of faith. So this is why there's indecision here. You have to make a choice in regards to can you have faith? Can you trust? Can you believe? Because that's where the opposition lies. There's an opportunity for a new beginning, but somebody has to act with integrity. Again, final decision. If you think about the courthouse, this is the justice, the justice system. You think a final decision needs to be made. Finality. You need to make a decision that is going to bring balance back to your life. The scales of balance. It's about acting with integrity and it's about communicating the truth that somebody has been reluctant to communicate out of fear. There's an opportunity for you to receive justice if you take a risk, take a leap of faith. There's an opportunity for a fresh new beginning here. This is a card of karma. So we have karma and destiny. But you may not be willing to make this decision right now. You're really afraid to make a decision. It's like you're going back and forth. I don't know what I want. You have two options. You don't know what to do. You're afraid of making the wrong one. But right now, no matter what's going on, you're lacking balance. You are. And some, like I said, somebody, people would deny shit daily. You're lacking balance and you're lacking harmony in your life. And in order to bring it back, you have to make a decision. You know, you guys are ruled by that hangman card, right? That's indecisiveness. That's fear of change. Master of non-attachment. That's being stuck, the hangman. You guys are stuck back and forth, like I said. But there's an opportunity to get what you deserve and to bring balance back to your life. If you add, This is the card of integrity and karma. You know, you always get what you deserve. Either it's good karma or bad karma. Acting with integrity is going to bring you good luck. But... You're going to have to stand up for yourself. You're going to have to, you're going to have to take the lead. You may be too defensive at this time. Maybe you feel like, <laughs> I don't, I, you know, I don't know if I can deal with all the conflict from this. You might be ready to rumble, you know, I don't want to rumble, but. You know, you, you may have to rumble. You don't want, maybe you don't want to deal with the conflict. People are watching, right? There's a lot of people in the mix here that are wondering how this is going to turn out, right? That is absolutely the case. Oh, now we have more karma. This is the card of karma in this deck. The judgment card is labeled karma. You have some serious karma here. And you know what this karma is about? Commitment, faith, believing, listening to your inner guide, following the path that you are meant to follow. And you will, remember I just said good karma, bad karma. You will get bad karma for not acting with integrity. Just saying. There's somebody's not making the right judgment call, call. This is a judgment card. They're not, and it's reversed. They're not making the right judgment card call, and and they're not they're not making the right judgment call because they're refusing to wake up. There's so, and this is again lack of faith. We're keeping a secret as well. This is the truth coming out in the upright. Is again, somebody is not telling the truth. Keeping their true feelings a secret about something, about love. Somebody is keeping their true feelings a secret. Holding on to their stance, seriously. Seriously, no shit. 
It's a, this is another card of integrity. This is perhaps even an apology, which is unheard of, right? It's unheard of. That's really hard. Anyhow, this is about finding your moral backbone to start over. Finding your moral backbone to start over, even if it's scary. Taking a risk. You have an opportunity for a fresh new beginning here, starting at zero. Power's in your hands. You have the power. This is the power to take action. It's in your hands. There is a destined, fated, karmic situation here that you haven't learned from yet. You have, you're not, I'm sorry, because of lack of faith. Somebody isn't listening. You're not listening. Not putting in effort. And it's time for you to master your emotions and open your heart. Because you do have an opportunity for love here. Oh, jeez. Oh. But you could be dealing with a person that has jealousy issues and possessive issues. You know, she's very possessive. She's jealous. And she's stubborn. And, you know, you may... We have a woman here who's jealous. Stubborn and possessive. And you probably, if you're a man, you probably have good intentions, but, or you fear the, you know, you guys got to look at this however way you want, but there's a man here that does have good intentions or had good intentions and this woman's jealousy has gotten in the way. Somebody needs to find the strength and the courage and the willpower to take action. And they're lacking. They're lacking. Okay? Lacking the strength to take action. The justice card is right there. You have to make a decision, Pisces. It's... It's... Oh, between two people? You have to make a choice between two people. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have everybody here. There's a lot of people in the picture at this point. There's men and women. There's two men and there's two women. Now it's a big mess. It is a big mess. And somebody's not happy. I think I don't think anybody's really happy in this situation. <sighs> and somebody absolutely needs to find their focus and their concentration and their strength to make a difficult decision in regards to love. There isn't the overall outcome is the fool. There is a new beginning here, Pisces. There is. Where you start fresh. Fresh new start. I mean, that's what a zero is. Zero comes before one. You have an opportunity for a fresh new beginning here. But it looks like you may not 
accept this opportunity for growth. You might not accept this new partnership. You might not accept this new beginning because you're still feeling betrayed or hurt or upset or something. Something needs to end first before you, this is ending, it's a death, so that you can have a new beginning. Something needs to end first so that you can have this new beginning and have this fresh start. So there's something that does need to end. Somebody's feeling weighed down by this decision. Maybe you're being weighed down by another person that is inhibiting you from having this fresh start. Maybe it's yourself. But it looks like you are not putting in effort to do whatever. Start over? I don't know what that is. Ooh. Yee. So that's your card. That is your card right there. That moon card reversed. Not accepting reality. Living in some sort of illusion, needing to see the reality of a situation, but refusing to do so because escaping the truth is so much easier. Oh, Jesus. Damn, 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 damn. Whatever is going on, there is going to be some sort of revelation that maybe leads you out of some sort of darkness because this is the end of a difficult period. And this is a revelation. This is the reality check. <laughs> Moon reverse. Reality check. There could be an ending with this fire sign or whoever it is, that wakes you up and allows you to have that fresh new beginning and pushes you outside of your comfort zone. Somebody has been trapped mentally, trapped in their head, wearing a mask, refusing to break free, and now they have an opportunity. Well, they're gonna, there's going to be something that happens because the moon is something behind. Something's going on. Something is going to happen that changes your course and leads you down a new path towards a new love. You have a new love here. Could be a reconciliation. The Ace of Cups can be new love or reconciliation. Whichever way you want to have it. But it looks as though there's a change of, of course here with that Wheel of Fortune. Your life is about to change and it's time. It's Destiny is, is coming in. Destiny is coming to change it. Probably whether you like it or not. I don't need the tower to see that. I don't. Somebody has been holding on to some sort of something that... <laughs> I mean, come on now. This is a grudge. It is a grudge. It's holding on to something. It's like holding on to for who knows why. There's no reason to hold on to whatever it is you're holding on to. Let that shit go. It's not worth it. It's seriously not. It's not worth your happiness. I mean, jeez. Um, it's childish. There's also fear of commitment here. This could also be a divorce coming up. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yes, they are. Don't lie to yourself, though. Somebody has been. Ooh! Past life relationship. You've known each other before. Well, that's the truth. So, I believe there, this could be a reconciliation. I said it right here. I don't know. 
Don't you guys all get your hopes up, all those cross watchers. Don't get your hopes up. Because this could be a new connection that's a past life relationship. It could. It could be. But this is a reconciliation. Or a new. Whichever way it goes. But somebody has been lying to themselves. Letting their, their thoughts get the best of themselves to protect themselves from getting in a commitment. Or for, you know, there's been so much lack of faith and trust here. And maybe it was this person that you were dealing with that didn't trust. I don't know. And it pushed somebody away. I don't know. There's been a lack of faith and trust here that has inhibited growth. Okay? It's inhibited growth. And now there's an opportunity to start fresh. I mean, that's what this card is. So it's in your hands. It's up to you. It's in your hands. Good luck. <laughs> 